Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here we successfully complete multi-user authentication system, right? Here we successfully done this job. Right now in this video I want to do, you will be able to um, logging with the not only the email because email is by default, right? When you install that Breeze package, Breeze actually provided by default as an email. Now in this video I want to cover like if you want to logging with the email, if you want to logging here, they have also some of the informations like that is a name. Okay? Okay, if you want to log in with the name, you can also able to log in with the name as an email or you can also use it as a um, phone number. Okay, you can also log able to log in with the phone number. Now, let's check this out how to do this work for doing this. Our first job is right now, every time we can actually log in all that our user from to the same login page right here when you put that our e admin e email address then that is written directed to the admin dashboard agent when you access that uh, at that agent then that will be written directed to the agent dashboard right so now i want to do i want to update it so that is our default breeze space okay breeze space that is a locking page you if you want to find out that will be in our wish place right now we don't need it i want to better close everything okay i want to close everything so that will be in our resources okay into the resources and then the view and if you go to that auth and you can see that is the logging plate so that is the by default one of the pays okay the when you install that laravel breeze breeze actually provided this all that pays as a locking register reset password verify email the confirm password in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you right now i only want to do and to change it like right now here you can see that is one of the form and by default a route as a logging post as a method will be as a post and csrf token so everything actually ready made in here literally uh, we load multiple dashboard for our different user right now i want to simply add that functionality like that is the email text okay here now i want to logging with the email i want to logging with the name and also i want to logging with the phone okay so i simply updated that text so that is actually the text will be display in here great now i simply update it and then we have to do there is a for for i want to change that name as a now logging okay so that will be for the logging id now i want to do and to change it i don't want to use that default one that will be as a login and then i want to type type will be right now as a text because here also i want to log in with the name and phone for the reasons here i make that type not that email type only that will be as a text type okay and name also i want to change that name as a locking and then value old i want to make make it as a locking required you can also use it that auto complete username we don't need it and also there is some of the validation we don't need this validation i want to do i want to remove it okay I simply remove it. Great. Here we successfully update that locking and for the password that will be needed. Okay, here I want to better make it as the same as a password. Everything ID will be password, type will be password, name will be password. That, that is the main three things actually needed. Right now, if you want to check it, if you click as a save all, and now if you go now refresh it, now that should be yeah, you can see that is email, name, or phone. Great now we have to do we have to work in our default request when you install that laravel please also there they are providing one of the default request request you will get it in our um, if you write no better i want to minimize it actually you can see the, uh, our visual code studio code is actually very small size so that is the only reason i want to use that um, subbing text editor because in our subbing text editor we can actually get that uh, wider view now there is a auth there is a controller great and now in our http you can see there is another folder as a request and into the request that is a auth and that is the locking request so that is the responsible for the lo user locking okay here you can see that is also the one of the default function as a rules and with the rules by default before that was as the email or as a password now I want to do, I want to change it because here I have already updated that name or name will be now as a locking. I copy it. Now in here I name it as a locking and also I better make it as a required that will be the string, no email. Okay, so for the reasons here I want to remove this email. Great. And password rest of this will be just like that same which is totally fine. 
and after that so make that sure you update these roles and then that is the authenticated method so into the authenticated method area now we have to do we have to work like i show you in that case we have to do hmm, that is ensure limited hmm, there is on the if condition so i will also update this part first of all here here i want to do i want to take one of the variable okay i take one of the variable as a user and into the user area i want to access that our user model so if you want to also access that our user model make that sure here we have to do we have to load that user here you can see they have no user i want to also load that use that that will be use use will be first of all that will be app app and sorry app and then the backslash that will be the models okay that will be the models backslash as a user okay so make that sure you load it because that is in our std app and into this app area then that will be detected to the models folder and into the models folder that is our user okay here i simply support it now we are able to access our user now that is actually our user so into the user area i want to put on the condition as a where condition okay into the where condition now i want to logging our which things i want to logging three different things i want to logging with the email so that will be as an email email will be now here i want to done to access our which things i have already passed it as a return will be as a logging right so i want to do i want to simply pass it so if you want to access it then we have to access it with this now with this i want to done to access that logging okay great and same things now we have to also apply okay same things we have to now also apply for our rest of two of this field so that will be the or where okay that is also another function as or where and into the or where area also on to access by the name okay name will be the same request so that means that will be the this and by this i want to do and to access that locking okay and same as here again as or where okay or where or where will be as a phone so if you also want to add another one you can actually add it so now i want to access that with the three as a these and then that will be as a locking great and then i want to do i want to get that fast data okay so that will be as a fast fast data i want to simply get it and i take the things with this variable as a user right now i pass it where our email will be our locking that means from here i have already passed it i'll get that our return request in our rules area as a locking now that will be when will be as email name or rather than phone so that is all that actually our database field name make that sure spelling is correct here you can see there is a name and then the phone okay if you go yeah that is also the phone so right now i don't have any phone i will also insert some of the data manually right now they literally will also manage everything from to the back end right now it's fine okay it's fine great so here i simply get the fast data i take the things with this variable as user now we have to do we have to update this if condition okay here that is actually one of the if condition so i want to simply change that if condition here i want to better remove it okay i want to remove this condition condition is started Mm, that is actually ended in our which place here we have to do that is if condition if you select it that is actually ended in here you can see now i want to better remove everything okay i want to remove everything from to this area now in particular this position i want to do and to use it as a not user so that is actually our variable that i have already taken it by the three things so that will be as a uh, the variable name as a user when that will be the not not user will be as a or that is a double pipeline and here i want to do to access that our hash so that will be as a hash h a s h -H, okay hash and also make that sure hash is loaded before that was actually hash so that should be in here mm, that is not in particular that position so if you want to access that hash that is in our controller auth into the auth if you go to that register into the register you can see there is a hash better i copy it and now in here first of all i want to do to support this hash okay make that sure you update that hash so now that is our hash and hash will be as a check okay so i want to do to check it i want to check i want to check our wish field i want to check that our password field only so that will be as a these and this will be our field here i have already get that our return request as a password 
so now that will be our password okay here i want to run to pass that as a password great and password will be which one here i have already get that email phone and then name and phone because both of this will be needed email and password will be needed so here i pass that our password and also i pass that our email phone and then names which i have already taken with this variable now here after that password here i want to do now by this user i want to do and to also pass that password that is our database field name as a password field okay here make that sure you update great now i simply updated this condition and then that will be in condition area the everything will be just like that same before here we don't need to change anything and then that will be the validation expectation expectation with message will be right now not that email now that will be here as a locking right so i better make it as a locking a locking will be as a trans authenticated fail then that is the here also i want to do i want to pass one of the boolean request so here if you want to pass it like i want to access that auth so that is our auth and auth will be as a logging logging our um, which things so it will be logging with our all that name that is how i take it with the user so now by this user i want to do and to pass also as a boolean so that will be the this this boolean okay so that's a b double o l E -A -N. so that will be as a blue end blue end will be as a default remember remember okay I simply pass that as a remember great so that was actually in here default one so here I have actually removed that things from to this area so right now I also want to do and to pass it on remember boolean in our user okay so that's all okay that's all you have to do and also make that sure you load that auth here that is by default already auth is in here which is fine okay which is fine so friend that's all now let's check this out if everything okay that should be work okay now let's check this out if you know, click as a save all there have no error which is fine and now if you go i want to refresh it like right now uh, before i have a uh, logging with the um, only the email address right right now the logging with the name so name as a user I make it as a user password 111 click as a login mm, perfect you can see we are successfully able to log in with the user and then now if you click as a logout i want to log in the same as a name as an admin right now we don't need to put any email address and then password and now click as a enter perfect perfect we can able to access that dashboard that means admin successfully logged in and also want to check the agent so i only want to do and to use that name name is i have used it as a agent right here if you put inappropriate something that will be also get that credential error mm, you can see it's not working great so now i want to do and to pass our agent agent 111 click as a logged in perfect we can also able to successfully logging with the agent and also now if you want to check it with the um, email address again i want to check it as a user user at the red gmail.com password 111 logged in perfect is successfully working right and right now i don't have any data literally i will create different type of dashboard right now i also want to check that phone number like here i want to for the user i want to use one of the phone number as a 01711 okay I'm sorry zero one seven one one and then i want to take another one as a admin admin zero one seven two two okay for education purpose i want to insert manually in here so right now also i want to check it it's successfully working or not for the user i have already checked it it's successfully logging with the email uh, with the name and now i want to do into logging with the phone number as a zero one seven double one now let's check this out i want to log in as a zero one seven double one and then password one 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 now logged in yeah you can see it's also sounds successfully working now you can able to log in with different things so you also want to check it our admin zero one seven double two i make it as a zero one seven okay double two one 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 logged in yeah successfully logged in great 
great i hope friend you like it very much right now you can actually log in with the three different uh, things you can now log in with the email address you can now log in with the phone number or rather than that the name so how to do this work friend i hope it's very very much clear to you so now i want to do when admin will be successfully logging first of all as i told you here i will actually load different type of uh, dashboard like the for the admin i want to first of all complete all that part for the admin like when you successfully logging it's return redirect to the admin dashboard and here now i want to load another um, template okay another dashboard template here i want to load it so how to do this work is step by step everything will be very much clear to you so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.